Hello, my dear friend. This is Phil again, and welcome back to my channel. So today, Bethesda just rolled out their latest patch with the season eight and the new public event, the Invader from Above. There are so many new things coming with this patch. I'm not going through all of them here because you can find all the informations online. I will leave the patch notes down below in the description area. So you can go there and read the full documentation by yourself. But what I want to say here is in terms of bug fixing, I think this patch is the best ever because it fixed one of the worst bugs which has been in the game for over three years, which is the most annoying one. I'm sure every single one of you has experienced this before, that in the vats, if you use the fast fire rate weapon, especially automatic ones, you will see the mobs health bar going down and then bumping back to almost full. It works like a rubber band or elastic band. So we normally just call it the health rubber band bug. And it's very annoying, especially when your network doesn't run properly. It's actually caused by the lagging between your client and the Fallout server. Bethesda actually claimed in their patch notes, they actually fixed it. Finally, I'm not 100% sure they actually fixed it because Bethesda say something which actually turned out to be something different. But in my last two hours play, I didn't see a single one of this bug. So I'm pretty optimistic at this moment and hopefully Bethesda really fixed this bug and we don't need to worry about this annoying rubber band problem anymore. And of course, as I mentioned in my previous video, they actually corrected the elemental resistance problem, which actually gave the energy weapon the same playground as their ballistic counterparts. And they also says no player can use that to actually target and hit the airborne grenades, which I don't think is really a big thing. But I have to let you know here, as always when Bethesda fixed something, they broke something else. So currently in game, your vast critical is not 100% a guarantee hit anymore. You will see your critical hit miss the target from time to time, which never supposed to happen before. But overall, I'm very happy for Bethesda just fixed these two very important bugs. I would give a Bethesda a great star. And besides the bug fixing, there are two challenges today which need you to take a photo with aliens and with alien drone. You have to use a camera, not use the photo mode, but you have to use a camera. And you can take a photo of any dead alien or the parts of their dead bodies or the debris of a dead alien drones. That will all count as part of the challenge. I'd like to share this because I know it's extremely hard to actually give any alien or any alien drones a photograph during the public event because they will never ever survive that long because there are always more than a dozen of players trying to kill them as fast as they can especially with a lot of legacy energy weapons but just as I said any part of their dead body will work with this challenge. I hope this can help you to finish today's challenge and also the last point I want to mention here is for the alien public event, all the rewards have exactly the same chance to drop. And for the two newly added weapon, the integrator and the enforcer, they are non-tradable. So make sure you get the plan and you need to learn it. Otherwise, you actually decrease the odds to actually get new plans. And if you want multiple characters to actually learn this plan, you will have to make sure each one of your characters get them because both the plan and the crafted weapon and modes are non-tradable. Bethesda has been making any new interesting gear non-tradable since the Wastelander patch. It's sometimes really annoying. Okay, that's all for today. I won't take much of your time. I know everyone wants to get into the game and enjoy this new patch. I mean, I saw a long list of active friends in the game for the first time in last three months. It's exciting time for me as well. I hope this video is useful for you. 
and please give me a thumb up if you find it useful and don't forget to subscribe but until next time Phil Legans out